Look how snazzy I look. Look at me. Don't know what that means. Look at me. It finally came. Finally arrived. About three months after I ordered it. It's all right, isn't it? It's a bit tight. Ready for European qualification. <laughs> Ready for summer. It's too hot to wear it. Ugh. So we'll take that off. Can't get it off. Well, boys and girls, we were in incredible form the last time we played this save. So fingers crossed, we'll still be in incredible form today. And we're about to qualify for Europe or maybe win the league. I could handle winning the league. We've now officially tempted fate. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Look at us go. Look at us go. Right, have we rested the players after St Mirren? We, I can't believe we drew the last game of last stream. After all those wins in a row, we then drew against St Mirren in the final game of the stream last time. Just to, just to make sure we ended with just a little bit of a wobble. It's the correct way of doing things. But hopefully straight back to winning ways. I love the fact that we're trying to qualify for Europe, but we can't afford to sign this guy on a free transfer because we can't afford the 76k we need for his signing on fee. It is absurd. Yes, we'll delay the transfer for a week. Right. Is this the team? Where's Critchlow? Why is Critchlow on the bench? What's your thought process, assistant manager? So, who the hell is Paul Costello? What on earth? Why are you recommending trash to me? Play the best team. It's the start of the stream. Ah, oh, we can't play the best stream. Oh, I remember. Everyone's injured. Okay. Now it comes. it's all coming back to me now. Because we could do this, and it would make a little bit more sense. I don't mind resting Critchlow, because he's been in incredible form. And we are playing a lot of football matches, but playing Joe Hart, not that one, seems like madness. Right. Come on, then. Let's do a football, shall we, boys and girls? Do I have to put the jacket back on? Do we think the jacket's going to be lucky or unlucky? I guess. I mean, I wore the jacket, but then I removed the jacket. Are the powers of the jacket still working? Anyone who wasn't here early doesn't know what the jacket is. This is why you should get here on time. You ro always run the risk of not being familiar with a jacket if you don't arrive at my stream on time. It's just the price you pay. Right, come on, let's do a football. Now I've got to include the stuff with the jacket. Thanks, you're welcome, Tofa. You should include the jacket. It's a business expense. It needs to be in the YouTube videos as well as on Twitch. It cost me 60 quid. Oh, what a goal from Kai Owen. Yeah, I spent £60, I think it was £60, on an East Fife jacket because I figured they didn't have any shirts in my size to wear when I went up there. I'll get a nice jacket to wear while I'm up there. It was the only thing in my size on the club shop. Didn't come for three months. Has now arrived after I've already been and after the weather is now too warm for me to wear a jacket anyway. How are Celtic doing? Are they losing? We want Celtic to lose. Business expense means it was free, right? Yes, I do forget about that sometimes. Of course it means it's free. Just like all this Lego I've been buying is free. Watkins up front with Saka, Bellingham and Palmer or Foden all behind him. That'd, that'd tear the Euros apart. This isn't good. This is not good. We're going to lose. After all this, we're losing. Go attacking. Demand more. I hate it. You're making me want to see East Five. Not see his five win. How? What am I doing? You're, uh, Tofu, you're a Spurs fan. You can't still have the Harry Kane bias. You must acknowledge more than anybody that he's cursed. And England will be better off without him. Get rid of the curse. Wasn't there an FM update between the streams? There was, but I can't imagine that's affected tactics. They don't, they don't fiddle with a match engine, do they? They've been working on FM 25 for nine months. Oh, this is only a loan. We can't even take loans anyway. I thought it was a free transfer. It's March. How are we taking anybody on loan? I don't understand. Won't somebody explain the rules to me? How? 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 How are we doing a loan now? What have I got? What props do I have? 
I mean, I could put the jacket on. Maybe the jacket will work. Let's put the jacket on. Fuck it up. So I take the tags out. I was planning on sending it back now I've worn it. <laughs> um, it's, uh, it's born on the terraces. They don't have any terraces. He's five. Ow! That's real string! Where's my weapon? I just ripped my finger off. I need a tool. Why don't I have a tool? You mentioned Harry Kane and lost an unbeaten streak, point proven. Exactly. Ah, there we go. There we go, look. Oh, oh, that's, that's cosy. Oh, I feel like I could take my trousers off now. This is all the clothing I need. We'll have our lovely low tempo. Imagine if that only worked for one stream. The low tempo passing football. The Manchester City of Scotland we were. For one night only, we did a Manchester City impression. And then they brought out then they brought out a patch that's broken the tactic. The first time I tried to control possession in five years, and I did it for one night. I'll be heartbroken. I'll level with you, boys and girls. I've spent far too much money on Lego and can't really justify spending another hundred pounds on stickers. I need to do my eyes. Tell me if this penalty goes in. I'm doing. I'm doing my eyes, boys and girls. Oh, oh! I can taste that. Do eyes have taste buds? Is this eye stuff, or have I just put glue in my eyes? I can't read it without my glasses on. Hang on. Uh, I feel like an old man. Hold on. Let me just read this label. Um, it's for itchy and watery eyes. Actimist double action. Oh, oh we're one nil up. Marvellous stuff. Why don't you do the fusion dance with work the space and become the ultimate FM streamer? A, don't know what a fusion dance is. And B, Jack wouldn't know what a football manager streamer was if it bit him in the face. <laughs> when was the last time he streamed football manager? Oh, I hate this game. I hate it. And it's a Peterborough boy who's done it as well. It's all right then. If I remember right from the podcast, didn't you get lost on that marathon? Yeah, we ended up doing 31 miles, we found out afterwards. Because it wasn't an official marathon. We just decided to uh, go from our university to a pub 26 miles away. Uh, but got lost and ended up doing an extra five miles. So I did 31 miles. I think that's ultra marathon territory. How tall am I? I'm six foot two. Was it worth it? We saved a small person's life. So probably. We raised enough money to pay for a little girl to have life-saving cancer treatment in America that she wouldn't have been able to have otherwise. So, uh, yeah, I guess. On that basis, probably worth it. I was thinking that was a joke. I don't joke about my charitable endeavours, Topher. I am something of a hero. Don't like to talk about it. I'm a hero, though. Thought you stopped a little person from stepping out into the road or something. Nah, that's their parents' concern. I just save strangers who've got cancer. <laughs> Shoot! I also dislocated my knee halfway around, which has only... I mean, it's only led to 10 years of constant knee problems. So, <laughs> I mean, if anyone wants to do a marathon to raise money for me to have knee surgery now, I feel like we could complete that circle. Knee pain is no joke. That is correct. Maybe get the little girl to... I mean, yeah, to be fair, she's probably like 19 now. She can do a marathon on her own. Raise money for my knee. Someone get someone get in touch with her. <laughs> send a, send a message to her parents. You remember, like ten years ago, I did that marathon and saved your daughter's life. Is she old enough to return the favour now? Because my knee really hurts. <laughs> <laughs> oh my word! If any of you, I mean, it doesn't have to be that girl. If any of you want to do a marathon to fix my knee, I don't really want to have surgery. So. Maybe just some cash to compensate me for the fact that my knee hurts. I'll take whatever it would cost to get my knee fixed. I'll just have the money and just carry on taking CBD oil every day.
I had the chance to have the surgery before I chose not to. That's true. Although that is my other knee. That was my torn ACL. It was my other knee that I dislocated. But then the person that runs that marathon needs someone to run a marathon to raise money to have their knee replaced. It's a painful cycle. Yeah, but as long as I'm at the top, I'm fully in favour of pyramid schemes as long as I'm at the top of them. We're beating Celtic 2-0. We're back in the title race. The jacket is magical. Is there any part of your body you've not injured at some point? No, I'm a very active man. I think I've retorn my butthole. I was uh, pondering that earlier. Might have to get myself some anus cream and get the egg cushion back. It's unfortunate because I've got to sit on a plane for four hours in three weeks' time. If I have to take an egg cushion on and explain why... <laughs> <laughs> oh well you see i've really i've i've torn myself a new bum hole how much anus cream can you take through customs need more fiber in your diet i mean my i have a lot of fiber in my diet. this is literally because i had that i mean my back is okay now by the way my back's fine um but because my back was hurting on and off for like a month I was taking cocodamol a lot, and cocodamol causes constipation. 3 0, by the way. Cocodamol causes constipation. So, this is a direct side effect of my back hurting. I've now retorn my bum hole. So, 3 0. It does, and it's addictive. I mean, I've not had any problems with it being addictive. As soon as my back stopped hurting, I stopped taking it, and I'm fine. Um, but yeah, it did cause a little bit of constipation. Are we coming back around to the exploding penis story? Uh, my penis is in surprisingly fine fettle at the moment. For a man whose penis has previously exploded, I think uh, it being... Uh, me having no penis complaints currently is quite surprising. Now I'm sure you're doing this on purpose. I wouldn't dream of talking about my anus and my penis as goals are going in, so you have to include them in the edit. My penis exploded a few times. It's how I have two sons. Yeah, we're talking about different explosions. I'm talking blood on the ceiling kind of explosion. We're only four points behind Celtic now. We're handing Hearts the title with this. Come on, let's do football! Might be a bit cold by the time it gets to me. I mean... It's cheese. It's better cold. Don't make me talk you... Th Just like pizza, cheese on toast is better cold. I went through a whole term when I was at primary school of having cold toasted cheese sandwiches in my lunchbox. I think that was just around... It was just after the lettuce and marmite sandwich period, but before crab paste. Is this a recipe for the cookbook, cold cheese on toast? I mean, there's, uh, it's, not, it's not as complex a recipe as it sounds. It has two steps. Step one, make cheese on toast. Step two, allow to get cold. That will be a two-page spread in the cookbook. We've got pages to fill. There'll just be a really big picture of congealed cheese. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be the front cover. Just cold, sweaty-looking cheese on toast. The main reason to toast bread is not... To, this is this is getting philosophical. The main reason to toast bread is not because you want that bread warm. It's because you want that bread crisp so that whatever you're putting on it doesn't sink through it. That's why you toast a burger bun. You're not toasting it because you want a hot bun on your burger. You're toasting it so that it has the structural integrity to hold a greasy burger on top of it without just the bread sogging and falling apart. It's not a temperature thing, people. It's never been about temperature. You make me so cross. I just got a steam achievement. You stayed at one club for 10 seasons. Part of the furniture. How is this the first club I've done 10 seasons with on FM24? And how on earth are we 10 seasons in and we still haven't won anything? It's about temperature when you're making a toasty, though. Is it balls? I won't stand for it. I had dipping eggs. I woke up this morning. This arrived. And I was like, you know what? I've got my new jacket. I'm going to have dippy eggs on my new board. I'm going full East Fife. I'm streaming today. I'm going to get in the mood. And it's nowhere in the kitchen. It's nowhere in here. 
Basically, there was no point thumping Celtic if we were then going to come and lose to Hearts. All we've done is really made sure that Hearts can win the league this year, which I guess long term does bode well for us as a little upstart challenger team. If neither Celtic or Rangers are dominating, it's got to be easier long term to topple Hearts than it is to topple Celtic or Rangers just because of the different financial climates they're circulating in. If Celtic have a year not in the Champions League, they're going to be less competitive the year after. So that's probably not a disaster. Right. So, can we even finish below fifth? I don't think we can. Yeah, first to fifth. So we can't finish outside of the top five. The problem, of course, is the cup. Because we've finished fifth before and not got into Europe because the team that won the cup was outside of the top five. So we need, once we've guaranteed a top four finish, then we know we're definitely in Europe and we can just relax then. Liam Potter. He's embarrassed that we've got him on screen. Look, do I remember Game Station? I loved Game Station. Game Station was great. Game Station was like the the grubby indie version of Game, wasn't it? And then Game bought it and sanitized it, and it was never the same. Game's still better than CEX. Ah, oh, CEX is filthy. CEX is just like eBay in physical form. It's riddled with disease. That and chips is the reason you want to go back to Bruges. I just love Bruges. I mean, they're not the only reasons. They're big reasons, but they're not the only reasons. I love Bruges. It's probably my favourite place in the world. I just love it. Mainly because of the chips and the mayonnaise. It's not just the chips, but thrice cooked chips cooked in animal parts and served with delicious Belgian mayonnaise. It is worth the drive. It's only like five hours from home. It's worth it. Come on, Brendan. We're in Europe. Come on, then. Um, yeah, just take the pressure off. Come on, boys. I'll take the pressure off whilst also reminding you I'd love to get into the Champions League. It would solve all of our financial problems. So if we could do that, that would be really helpful. Right, come on, boys. Champions League, here we come. Wouldn't that be a thing? Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh, ho, 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 ho. It's happening! Remember, we just have to win our last three games and we're in the Champions League. Look at us go. I love controlling possession. Oh! Oh! Right, how are Celtic doing? Celtic are drawing with St Mirren. Rangers are drawing with Hart. Celtic have missed a penalty. We're allowing ourselves to believe. Because as of right now, we are second in the league with two games to go. Celtic are now winning to jump back above us again. But we play Celtic next. Rangers are beating Hearts, though, which drags them back into... Imagine if Celtic still win the league from here. All that talk of a changing of the guard and Celtic will still end up winning the league. They are inevitable. Truly a backdoor. Yeah. Don't get your hopes up for the title. I imagine we're going to finish third because we'll probably lose both of these final two games. Celtic and Hearts aren't both going to bottle it against us. Hey, 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 hey. James Hearn has got nine goals this season from DM. We signed him to play centre-back. He's played in midfield all year, but scored nine goals from there. I don't know who Hearts are playing when we play Celtic next. That's quite significant. We've ruined Aberdeen here, though. My goodness me. We're playing like champions. Right, so... That's what the league table looks like. Two games to go. We're away against Celtic. Hearts are at home to St Mirren. Hearts probably going to win the league in the next match. And then on the final day, we play Hearts at home and Celtic are away to Aberdeen. All we can concern ourselves with is trying to beat Celtic. We're aiming for second. We're dreaming of second. There you go. At the very least, we've got Europa League. If we can beat Celtic, 
we can do Champions League. This is a huge opportunity, the like of which we won't see again for several seasons because we still don't have the money to compete properly. And next year, we've got to do it all again, but with European football in the mix. So we're not going to be competing for the title next year. We're not going to be competing for Champions League next year. But if we could sneak in this year, goodness me, would it fast track the process money-wise? Oh, fiddlesticks. I hadn't even finished the speech. Now I get why Zealand does the bit with the candles before the match, so that stuff doesn't happen. Do the speech before they've scored, Kev. Hideous. Don't want to see it. And there goes the Champions League dream. Never mind. We're still in the Europa League. That's still excellent. Hearts really are bottling this. I'm ashamed of them. It's pathetic. There's no shape. They've missed two penalties. Hearts had the opportunity to win the league tonight and they missed two penalties in that match to just absolutely bottle it. That is spectacular capitulation from Hearts. Oh, my word. I'm absolutely trying to beat them. No interest at all in handing them the league. They wouldn't do it to me. So let's beat them. Balls to them. They should have scored one of their two penalties. It's pathetic. They, don't, they shouldn't need my help to win the league. Imagine the fun that our fans would be having with the Hearts fans if we go 1-0 up in this game. Five points clear and <clears throat> up. <laughs> oh, no. Even an equaliser for them isn't enough at this point because of goal difference. They've got to turn it around and beat us. They have well and truly thrown this away. The silly, silly, silly gooses. 50 years it's been since a team other than Rangers or Celtic have won the Scottish League. Hearts missed two penalties in their last match. They are going to be the laughing stocks of football forever. Well, at least we got to play spoiler. That was fun. I've now become a villain. My heel turn is complete. And that was pathetic from Hearts. I shouldn't be the most hated man in Scotland for letting that happen. This guy's the guy who balls it up and we've still got League One budgets. I mean, they are increased a little bit. It's not really... Imagine if we had got into the Champions League and then been set those budgets. My word. We need the new stadium and we need a year of European money. <laughs> 